So now we can use Newton's second law of motion. And that tells us that the acceleration of any object is just equal to the net force acting on the object divided by its mass. And so if I take this net force and divide by this mass, I can actually calculate and predict the acceleration of this airplane as it takes off and prepares to lift off into the air. So let's go ahead and do that calculation. Remember we have 800,000 Newtons divided by 400,000 kilograms. And I have some easy numbers here, so this is just gonna give us two. So we get an acceleration of two meters per second squared. So what is a meter per second squared? That's the standard unit of acceleration in physics. So what that means is every second that goes by, every second this thing is moving forward, its velocity or its speed will increase by a rate of two meters per second each second. So after one second, it's going two meters per second, then four, then six, then eight. So this acceleration tells us the rate at which it's increasing its velocity before it takes off. One other thing to notice is the acceleration came out as a positive number, which means it's accelerating to the right, our positive direction. And remember how I said the acceleration should always be in the same direction as the net force. Because we have a rightward pointing net force, we of course get a rightward pointing acceleration.